Hello, I'm Jenny McKinney, Stella's Oma, and I'm going to read the story Stella's Opa wrote in the summer of 1993 when we were on a whitewater rafting trip in the Yukon Territory, Canada, on the Elsac River. The name of the story is The Legends of Turnback Canyon. Here we go. We were three days out of White Horse with nine more days to go. When Sebastian did approach me, his eyes were all aglow. Had I ever heard the legend of the Midnight Canyon Run? For those few ever chosen, it would be a lot of fun. Bears and eagles would assist us, and the moon would play its part. All that was required was purity of heart. Sebastian then admitted, it wasn't me, he thought, but rather Tom and Addie, innocents to be taught. After due consideration and relying upon his oaths, I committed these two young uns to some progress in their growth. On the evening of the seventh day, we camped upon the beach, which sets above the canyon edge, just beyond the river's ridge. At dusk, Sepp handed me a brew and gave this admonition. Each child must take three deep sips or we'd be risking perdition. Promptly at midnight, as the moon was starting to rise, I delivered the slumbering infants to this exciting enterprise. At the precise moment, the first thunder could be heard. Sep took the sleeping babes not mouthing even a word. He set them in the cargo boxes and double locked the latches. He made each necessity secure and battened down the hatches. Then off he pushed into the swirl as the river began to howl. Onto the boat, there jumped a bear, his purpose clearly not foul with the bear paddling at the rear, and Sepp leaning to the oars. They slipped into the maelstrom, passing right through Hell's own door. Into the water ravine, the little boat descended. When upon a huge rock, the precious craft was appended, with Sepp calling left, and the bear leaning just that way, the crisis was averted. For the moment, all was okay. Then down into a hole that seemed deeper than a mile, dipped this little ship of fortune as it continued on its trial. Then there loomed in the gleam ahead a crisis of gross proportion. This was a God's putting all on the line. It amounted to human extortion. The bear and Sepp exchanged a glance. The bear leaped to the front. There never was a moment hesitation. This too, they'd never punt. Then, at the moment crucial, the boat began to break. Above, four eagles quick appeared, pulling the vessel from its wake. The gods, they feeling cheated, made a reach to hold them back. Sap smacked them down with an oar. It was a mighty whack. Then, guiding them to an eddy, the eagles in the lead, this little voyage ended with the bear having met the need. No further history is recorded. No other details are known. The saga simply ended with neither whisper, cry, or moan. In the morning, the children loud complained of all the noise at night. Eddie said, it was a bad dream. Tommy said, no, it was all right. That's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want a written copy, Stella's mom has it, and she can print it out for you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.